like, oh my gosh, I should probably put a wig on because I don't know how they feel about braids. And they were like, okay, I'll take note of that, but uh, that might not work out for this position and we'll see if there's another position available for you. I was like, hold on. All these days I've been stressing and crying and worrying, just not knowing what's gonna happen. Good morning, y'all. I feel like all this week I've been doing enough stressing about, you know, what my job is going to be and where I'm going to live. Simone and I had a lot of fun last night. I had some wine and we were just in here listening to music and dancing. Like, we just had a lot of fun. And so today she went to Dallas to go see her family for spring break. I do need to call her and check on her to make sure she made it. Where are you at? <laughs> Uh, I don't even know that now, so Alright, I was just checking on you to make sure you're still safe and everything. Okay, yo, appreciate that. So I was just wondering, what do y'all put on y'all eggs? I always like to eat my eggs with syrup on it. I know some people like to put cheese in it and ketchup on it. This is a judgment-free zone. I just wanna know what do y'all put on y'all eggs? Hey y'all, good morning. Welcome back to my channel. Today, I had my first interview for Houston. The interview went really, really good. Um, at first, I was nervous because it's like a Microsoft Teams type of Zoom interview thing. And so I was like, oh my gosh, I should probably put a wig on because I don't know how they feel about braids, you know? It'd be like that. It turns out that we didn't have our video on and I had to call into the meeting. So basically it was a phone interview. So she didn't even see me at all. And um, I was like, okay, dope. Um, the interview was not hard at all. They did not ask me any difficult questions. See what the God of the universe can do for you when you just sit still and listen and do what he say. Like, I'm just so happy y'all. I'm so happy. So tomorrow I'm having a second interview and I think from there we'll see whether or not um, I'll be putting in my two weeks notice for my current job, which is temporary anyway. See y'all in a little bit. Oh, actually, you know what? I almost forgot about this internship that I did several years ago. This part of what we've done, so, uh, okay. but you do have to turn that at home. Yes. Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. So I have some very, very exciting news. Finally, we're making progress. It's like March 18th. And when did I start vlogging? I think I started vlogging like at the beginning of this month. So y'all been seeing a lot of ups and downs and things like that. But as y'all saw earlier, I was doing the second part of that interview. They asked me, how soon would you be able to start? And I said, well, I'm still employed, so I should give my employer two weeks notice because, you know, that's professional and courteous and things like that. And they were like, okay, I'll take note of that, but uh, that might not work out for this position and we'll see if there's another position available for you. I was like, hold on, hold on. <laughs> I ended up telling them, okay, let me just start on Monday. I'm just like, let me just trust God because it seems like this job is a great fit for me. It's an actual social work job and it pays great money. Like this is this is the pay you're supposed to receive when you get a bachelor degree, okay? It's, it's, it's pretty much up there with what I was making with parole. So that's really, really good. And then 20 minutes after they made that offer to me, the realtor that I reached out to, she reached out to me and said, congratulations, you got approved for the apartment. Um, just let us know when you're ready to go see it and we can set up a moving date, da da da. And like, I, I was just, I was speechless. Like, I just couldn't believe it because I was thinking to myself, dang, all these days I've been stressing and crying and worrying, just not knowing what's gonna happen. But I kept the faith though, I never gave up. I kept applying myself and I kept, you know, being patient and trying to persevere. And it all ended up happening all in the same day. Like, oh my gosh. So I'm just so excited y'all. Like I'm excited to go see the apartment. I really don't like that I had to apply for it first. And I think they did a hard inquiry on my credit already. So it's like, 
the apartment better be good. Like it better not be no roaches in there. The air conditioner better work. The washing machine and the dryer better be working. Cause I went through a lot of stuff to apply for that apartment. We're gonna be seeing it in a couple days. Of course, I'm gonna take y'all along with me to go see my first Houston apartment. I can't wait. Life is finally starting to look up and all that I know how to say is just thank you. Just thank you, God. Thank you for understanding my situation. Like, thank you for giving me a vision and a direction, for giving me intuition. And even though I've been feeling like a crazy person to just still be able to trust my intuition and to just know that although I can't, that's so annoying. No worries, we'll be out of here in a few days.